Hey guys. Uh, right now I'm going to show you how to adjust a uh, main collet, main chuck, some people call it. I'm going to show you both manual and automatic. Uh, we got some new bar stock in here, it's a different size. Now if I go to clamp this, and I unclamp it, it's not as tight as I'd like. Um, so I'm going to want to adjust it. The way to do that is take some sort of setting fixture, what Star calls it, and you're going to want to just lock down this ring um, so that it can't be moved. Screw that in. Um, this is a star, so other machines will be similar, but there's always going to be some way to keep this ring from moving. Next, you'll want to loosen up the set screw. Once the set screw is loose, now we can make some adjustment. Um, I'm just going to be spinning on the main, uh, the main collet nut, and it'll turn in here. You can see it moving, and you can see that that ring is staying in place. So if I were to go this way, it would loosen up the collet. When we go to engage it, you can, it's not even making a knocking sound, so it's still really loose. If we were to tighten it, you can hear them start to make a knocking sound. Now it's a really loud knocking sound, which means it's getting tighter. And now it's gone to where it's so tight, let me reposition this, that this finger is not able to engage all the way up onto here. Now it's too tight. The machine would actually alarm out if you were trying to clamp this during a program. Say it's too tight. So we'll back it off just slightly. It's not quite engaging. Okay. There we go. Okay, now, now pay attention real quick. It slightly hesitates before it engages. You can see, now if I loosen it up more, it won't hesitate anymore. See? That slight hesitation means it's struggling to engage, which means it's as tight as possible. I usually set my collet so it does this because then I don't have to worry about any slippage. Uh, this is as tight as you can get the collet. Um, this is why I set it manually. If you set it automatically, it will never get this tight. Um, so I'll show you how to do that right now. We'll, uh, we'll, walk this, we'll go through the whole step again. Oh, I forgot to mention. Once you are done setting it, you want to tighten that set screw and try it again because sometimes it does change slightly. So now if we were going to set this automatically, we'd go through the exact same process. We're setting fixture in. We'll loosen up our set screw. And then we'll come to our controller. To set it automatically, you go to your custom page. See, custom button. This would be the main screen you would come up on. We'll go to number six, which is called adjust. All you have to do is type in six input. It goes to this page. You can set your main collar and sub collar from here. I've never set a guide bushing automatically. I don't recommend it. Uh, but we're on main collar. We're going to set it at 100%. It's going to get as tight as the machine will allow it to get automatically. We'll just hit this button, execute on off. And now it tells you what to do. Press start button after selecting simul and macro. So we want to select simul, macro, and then start. Now you'll see basically what it's doing is it's going to loosen up that ring and it's going to slowly tighten it. And then it's going to try and measure the force that it's feeling. It takes a few seconds. And then that'll be the end of the program. It's thinking. Great. Cool. It says programmed in, reset on. That means it was successful. If it was not successful, it would tell you, like, let's say the ring was far too loose or far too tight, and it wasn't able to do the entire process and uh, successfully set it. You would just run it again. It'll eventually do it. It'll loosen it up more or tighten it up more. Just keep rerunning it. But otherwise, it has been done. Now, make sure to take the setting fixture out. Very important. Tighten up your set screw. Now we'll check it. 
So you can see there's no hesitation. It's set at 100% and yet it's not as tight as can be, but it's probably good enough for 99% of applications. So if you prefer to set it automatically, that's how you do it. I prefer manual, but uh, good luck. I hope this helps.